In this tutorial, you will create the model shown in the figure. The views and dimensions of the model are given in the figure. First, you need to create the base feature of the model by revolving the sketch. To create a sketch, start a new file with the name c07top.prd using the model template and specify its location as cnx c07. Now, invoke the Revolve tool and draw the sketch of the base feature on the YCZC plane as shown in the figure. After completing the sketch, exit the sketch environment and create the base feature of the model, as shown in the figure. After creating the base feature, you need to shell the model using the shell tool. Choose the shell tool from the feature group. The shell dialog box is displayed. Rotate the model and select its bottom face to remove it. Set the value in the thickness edit box to 2.5. Choose the OK button to exit the dialog box. The model after hollowing out the base feature is shown in the figure. After adding the shell feature to the model, you need to create the third feature. Now, Invoke the Extrude tool and select the XCYC plane as the sketching plane. Draw the sketch of the third feature, as shown in the figure. Exit the sketch environment and extrude the sketch to a depth of 5 mm. Now, you need to pattern the third feature after creating it. Choose the Pattern Feature tool to invoke the Pattern Feature dialog box and select the circular option from the layout drop-down list. The options to create the circular pattern are displayed. Next, you need to select the feature to be patterned. Select the third feature from the drawing area. Click in the specified vector area of the rotation axis sub-rollout. A vector triad is displayed, and you are prompted to select object to infer vector. Specify the vector. As shown in the figure, you are prompted to select object to infer point. 
Select the center of the circular edge of the base feature. Preview of the pattern will be displayed. Next, you need to specify the number of instances and spacing between them. Select the count and span option from the spacing drop down list. Set the value to 3 in the count edit box and 360 in the span angle edit box. Select the follow pattern option from the orientation drop down list in the orientation sub rollout and choose OK from the pattern feature dialog box. The model after creating the pattern feature is displayed in the figure. Next, you need to create the slots on the top planar face of the base feature. To do so, invoke the extrude tool and select the top planar face of the base feature as the sketching plane. Now, draw the sketch of the slot and add required dimensions and constraints to it, as shown in the figure. Exit the sketch environment. Choose the reverse direction button to reverse the direction of the feature creation. Next, select the through all option from the end drop down list in the limits rollout. And select the subtract option from the boolean drop down list in the extrude dialog box. On doing so, the preview of the feature is displayed in the drawing window. After creating the slot feature, choose the Pattern Feature tool from the Feature group. The Pattern Feature dialog box is displayed and you are prompted to select Features to Pattern. Next, select the Linear option from the Layout drop-down list. The options related to the Linear pattern are displayed. Select the slot from the Drawing window and click in the Specify Vector area. The vector triad is displayed in the drawing window, and you are prompted to select objects to infer vector. Select the vector, as shown in the figure. Next, you need to define the number of instances and spacing between them. Select the count and span option from the spacing drop down on list in the direction 1 sub rollout. The count and span distance edit boxes are displayed. Enter 7 in the count edit box, and 36 in the span distance edit box, and then choose the OK button. From the pattern feature dialog box, a linear pattern of slots is created, as shown in the figure. The next feature that you need to create is the protrusion on the internal face of the base feature. 
you can create this feature using the extrude tool. Now, invoke the extrude tool, and draw a circle of 25 unit diameter, on the internal face of the base feature. And make sure that the Unite option is selected in the Boolean drop-down list. Then, extrude it to a distance of 7.5 mm, as shown in the figure. Create the remaining features using the Hole and Edge Blend tools as shown in the figure. To create hole, choose the hole tool, and specify the position of hole as shown in the figure. And enter 15 in the diameter edit box, and choose the OK button. Now, choose the Edge Blend tool, and select the edge of extruded feature, and enter to in the Radius 1 edit box. The model is created as shown.